Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Chicken Police. We're back at the Clawville Police Department. We're hoping that Zip is here and that he is safe because the bad guys are well and truly on his tail. And our good old buddies Phyllis and... Was it Roy's? I think it's Roy's, isn't it? Are out here. So let's speak to them and then we'll look at maybe heading inside. Uh, hello. They're never going to use an umbrella, are they? <laughs> I don't think they are. There's not a chance in hell those two would ever admit what morons they are. Hey, Marty, <laughs> don't they remind you of someone? Well, now Fuck that you mention off. it. <laughs> right, let's hey, uh, speak guys. to them. Beautiful night, huh? Maybe a little wet, but... Uh... Well, to be honest, I'm soaked to the bone. Maybe the spikes... <laughs> spikes. Up, boys. And you, don't you have anything better to do? Hey? Oh, a bit better aggressive? Nah, nothing. We love clowns. Ah, piss off, chicken. Oh, what's annoyed Phyllis? Bloody hell. The boss is waiting for you inside, my little drumstick. He's in a <laughs> lovely mood, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, mate. Cushion. You wish. Pink cushion. <laughs> Feather duster. <laughs> I love it. The insults are fantastic. Um, anything else out here that we haven't looked at? I don't think so. Uh, let's just make sure there's not one of those little books laying around while we're here. I don't think there is. Right, let's go in. Looks like Blood Boy was waiting for us. Oh, he certainly is. And he's angry. Yes, Chief. You know what I've heard. Uh, no. I have no idea, Chief. You think I'm stupid, birds? No, no, we, uh, we don't, Chief. What the ever-loving fuck do you think you're doing? What do you uh, mean? Chief, if I may... Uh, Sonny, shut the fuck up. You're not on duty. You're suspended, if you remember. So I'm not your Chief right now. Well, yeah. We just stepped out for a coffee, Chief. Then we saw something suspicious at the Czar Club, and we investigated it, and, um... And everything went wrong. Suspicious, right? You investigated, right? Yes, yep. sir. Do you take me for a fool, chickens? <laughs> what do you know about the burning ship that lit up the entire time? Uh, we were on it as sort of prisoners. Burning, uh, what? <laughs> Wild Lord, that <laughs> sounds awful. We're gonna play the innocent. Don't play innocent with me, Santino. You both stink like you're in deep, deep shit. You could say that. You don't think we had anything to do with that, do you? I don't know. But if you do, I will find out. You better know that. Yeah. Where, Chief? <laughs> Why is he laughing? Enough of your swearing for a lifetime. Get the fuck out of my sight. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Have a beautiful day, Chief. Don't let me see you again, Santino. Or I mean, what's the next step to fire us, basically? Force us into early retirement. I'll try not to be seen, Chief. I'm not your chief. Get lost. I mean we're already on suspension, so. Oh, here he is! He is here! Zip. Zip H. Murphy. Do you believe he's really that scared? Or is it just an act? Zip's a good actor, but he's not that good. If Wessler's henchmen are after him, he has good reason to be afraid. Probably true. Um, should we try speaking to the others first before we speak to him? Because I get the, the feeling that we're here directly to speak to him. And usually some of these other guys have things hey, to say. Hey, boys. I hear the city's on fire since you're back together again. So of yet, but all is not lost. <laughs> Metaphorically, I mean. So, how can I help you? We need some information. If you're uh, not busy. Of course I'm busy, and of course you need information. But I'll help you, as always. You're Thank an you. angel. Yeah, I know, Marty. <laughs> All right, what information do we need? <clears throat> okay, we need information on Deborah Ibanez. Do you know anything about a girl named Deborah Ibanez? You mean the Bambi whose body was found in Natasha Katsenko's weekend house with huge red letters on her back? That would be the Don't one. Don't call her a Bambi. 
So you knew her. <laughs> Just fleetingly. Anyway, I don't even want to know. I don't know much about her. Moses and Plato are on that case. Thanks for the intro. Who are they? Anything else worth mentioning? You were at the scene, right? Uh, not if it's going to get us in really? trouble. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> um, you can't lie to me. You just can't. Is this some kind of interrogation? Just leave us alone, Monica. Yeah, we're the ones who do the interrogating around here. Look for me, Sonny. Remember that. Yes, yeah, Sonny, remember that. Right, Madame Zewas. Guess who we had the chance to meet? Madame Zewas, the legend herself. The legendary old alligator herself. Where is she a crocodile? I, can't, I can never remember. So you're that lonely? I didn't think that was your thing, Sonny, but you know what's best for you. <laughs> we were there to investigate. We actually of were, course. believe it or not. And were you successful? To be honest, uh, they beat us no. and tried to burn us alive. Inside of a sinking ship. Wow. Busy night, right? Even for you. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what do you know about the madam? Eh, nothing much. She's not had any run-ins with the police recently. Of course. Good. Because half the PD goes to her. That's true. Well, I'm not going to say anything about that. No, no, you can't disclose that information, you know. Uh, Zewas and Wessler. What is the link there? Yeah, we got to know. We suspect Madame Zewas is in cahoots with Ibn Wessler. Any idea why? No, but those two mean trouble by themselves. I don't envy you, boys. Seriously, any ideas? Yeah, literally anything. Any potential yeah, link. Well, you can. Right about immediately. Well, you're kind of right. We can't, Mon. We gotta see this through to the end. Yeah, we're in too deep now. Famous last words. They are famous last words, but even if we run now, the bad guys are on our tails. Like, we're literally stuck. The only way we get out of this alive, or have a chance of doing that, is to stop them. Uh, right, that's all we can ask her about. So let's talk to... Whoops, I didn't want to leave. Let's go back in. Uh, let's talk to Bosco. You two again. Us two again. We're back. Hey, Bosco, what's all this about uh, Zip? Yeah, if only I knew. This idiot called us on himself. He told us we have to take his statement. And what right. does he want to confess to? I don't know yet. We still can't get it out of him. But we're taking him huh. down to the hole soon. There, he'll sing like. Would you mind if we? Oops, asked sorry, I pressed X there. Sorry, guys. You know, just for old times' sake. Sorry, boys, but you know the rules. The rules, right? More like blood boil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more like blood boil. So sorry. Right, can we ask him anything? I think he was basically just saying... No, we can't. I think he was basically just saying that they hadn't had a chance to question him yet, so that could work out good for us. Do we really want to speak to him again? I feel like we're going to get shouted at. Honey, you think I'm just joking, right? Speak to me one more time, and I'll fire your ass. Oh my god. Sorry, I hope this doesn't count. Get the fuck out of my sight, Santino. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Not gonna happen again, sir. Did anyone yes, sir. tell you you're a real pain in the ass, Sonny? Probably, Only sir. My mother, sir. <laughs> do, do we dare do it? Do we? Still we here. dare. I know, sir. Well then. For all the wilds, Sonny, get out of my sight. I don't understand how you do it, Sonny. <laughs> do what? You drive him crazy, yet he still doesn't bite your head off. He didn't even suspend you. Oh, he didn't suspend us. I wonder who he did does. then. He respects me, Marty. I may be insufferable, but he can't deny I've always brought something to the table. That's why you drive the poor old dog mad? No, I do it because I'm bitter and twisted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, who the hell suspended us if it wasn't Blood Boil? We haven't really met anyone, sort of, between our level and Blood Boil's level. Interesting. Right, anyway, let's uh, speak to Zip, then. Sorry, 
Please, I can't let you do that. You know, protocol. Why? You and protocol, Bosco. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> the case, boys, like it or not. Stop harassing the witness. Well, what can I do? Sorry, guys. It's got answers. We need them. Well, what do we do here? Let's speak Don't to him, you Bosco. Have more important to do, Bosco. I do, but Blood Boil ordered me to guard good old Zip here. He wants to question him himself. Okay. Oh, wow. Then it's time to say goodbye to the Trash Panda. We may be seeing <laughs> trash him for the panda. last time. <laughs> You're probably right, boys. How the hell do we get to speak to him? Oh, we can ask her something about Zip now. When did they bring in the Could we always panda? do that? Stop calling him Trash Panda. Not even an hour ago. You're just in time. They haven't taken him into the hole yet. Yeah, we heard. Yeah, I can see. Listen, Mon, uh, would you do us a favor? Can I be honest? Not really. <laughs> Don't blame oh, you. Just a small thing. For old time's sake. It's probably going to get you in trouble. Hard. So, what do you want? Call Bosco over here for some reason, okay? So that we can have a quick talk with Zip. You can't do that. She's going to get in so much trouble. Okay, I guess I can do that. But you owe me one. Well, thank you somehow. I promise. No, no promises this time. Shoes. Shoes? <laughs> Size 35, high heels, black. Oh, a bribe. Yes, Is that really the type of thing you should be asking officers to do? Bribe you? Hey, Bosco. Yes, ma'am. Come over here for a second. Right away. <laughs> that easy. You look over there, and you look over there. Right, zip. Hello, zip. <laughs> Hello, boys. Uh, what's up? We were trying to, we need to talk you, to you. But guess what? You were nowhere to be found. Yeah, I don't get it either. But suddenly the cops appeared and uh... cut the crap, Zip. We talked to Tim. We were at the dog and at Bubo's, Zip. Two meatheads were talking about gutting a rat. A rat? And yeah, that would be you, Zip. We immediately knew it was you. Isn't that flattering? <laughs> I can explain, boys. My life was in danger. These lunatics want to kill me, and I have no idea why. They wanted to. Oh, well, you're going to find out, I'm sure. We're lucky to be alive. Then we walked our feet to the bone and almost got shot to pieces just a couple of minutes before. What Sonny means is we're not in the mood for bullshit or raccoon shit. <laughs> oh, boys, I have no idea what they want from you. I don't know what they want from me either. We have time. And by the looks of it, you have too, pal. So start telling us what you have to do with all of this. Yeah, we want answers. Right. Don't drink that uh, I don't want to look at the vending machine. <laughs> it moved slightly, I think. Right, let's ask about Bubo. Bubo doesn't have a high opinion of you, Zip. How do you know him? You see these stitches? His weight. All of them. Ah. Ah, I see. My condolences. Is Bubo just know everybody? Yeah, he's a good friend of mine, but the word friend is misspelled in his dictionary. Right. Uh, right, the piece of the painting. What do you think about this uh, paper? I've seen better, Sonny Boy, but that's not paper. And do you it, know is? What it is? At first glance, it's canvas, a piece of a painting, but it's too small and too blurry to make anything of it. So... Right. Still nothing. Well, thanks anyway, Zip. I wonder if the painting is going to be like the actual full painting. It's going to be something that discloses who Natasha actually is. Anytime, boys. Are we done? Like a family painting or something. Uh, the Swattering Nile. Have you ever been to the Nile, Zip? Oh, I wish, man. But my kind can't get in there. Why, did you? We did. Right in the madam's room, if you're interested. Oh, so that's why you look like that. Bingo. <laughs> did you know that the place has ties to the Wessler Empire? That place has ties to everything and everyone in Clawville, boys. Even to the royal family. I'll bet my tail on it. 
might be right about that. <clears throat> right, the strange wristband. Now, Lyle was saying that she wondered if the strange wristband belonged to Natasha Katzenko from like a hospital visit or something. And that's not a bad shout. I think perhaps it is tied in to something, maybe a piece of evidence or something. So it'll be interesting to see what this is. Providing he can tell us, of course. But he did have it, so I'm assuming he knows what it is. So we were just about to listen to some sweet music when... Um, <laughs> didn't that damn jukebox break all of a sudden? Yeah, like the glass just smashed. Oh, damn it. Damn it indeed, Zip. There was a wristband behind it with numbers on it. 9842372 to be exact. Wow, you memorized what? it. All that from memory? How the hell? He even said it. <laughs> I have no idea either, and it scares me too, but that's not the point. Tell us about it. That is, if you want to leave this place on your feet. Okay, okay. <laughs> You got me. I'll talk, but only if you promise that the cops won't know about this. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we can probably do, do that. We look like we're on duty. All right, questioning. Here we go. It's Zip time to question him. Opportunist. He's trying to turn everything to his advantage, but we're gonna turn the tables. Okay, he's an opportunist. So he'll try to twist everything, so we're going to have to bear that in mind. Who did you escape from and why here, Zip? Who did you escape from and why here, Zip? Why? <laughs> because I like living, that's why. How did you know they were coming for you? Good question. I got a tip off from a friend that I should pack my things and go if I want to live. But I had nowhere to run. Yeah, you know me. The hot dog's my everything. Wonder who so the friend you was. Thought you'd be safe here. Of course, if it's people are everywhere, but uh, eh, maybe it's harder to get rid of me at the PD. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Okay. New impression, secretive. Those two meatheads called you a rat. Why? Well, we know that because there was information. So, how did you manage to piss off Wessler? How did you manage to piss off Ibn Wessler? I don't know, alright? I don't have Lies. time for this. Sing like a bird, or I can't guarantee your safety. I did something for him, that's all, okay? A tiny uh... favor. You know how it goes, Sonny. Animals like Wesla make a living out of these kinds of favors. I tiny see. favor, eh? Wesler's kind don't send assassins after someone for tiny little favors. You have no. no idea what's going on in his head nowadays, pal. Fella's gone totally insane. Hmm. Oh my god. Okay, he's cornered. Ibn was blackmailing you, am I right? What did you have to do for Ibn? What did he have on you, Zip? It seems you couldn't leave the underworld behind. I don't think that's relevant. I, we sort of don't really care what he had on him. It's going to be one of these two, I think. Ibn was blackmailing you. I mean, do we know he was blackmailing him? We don't really know that. Right, let's try and dig into what he had to do and see if he'll give us anything. Although he is secretive, so I don't what know if this is going to work. For Ibn? I never heard anyone, all right? Let's make that clear right now. I never hmm. said you did. Why did you Just say that? Get rid of a package for the boss. That was the job. Quick, clean, simple, right? Yeah, and the package would be package? a very heavy one. Is that a dead, dead body? Bodies are kind of heavy. Zip. Yep. How did you know it was a dead body? Because you said it was a heavy one. I was bluffing, but uh, thanks for the answer. <laughs> Played him. You lousy chicken. Zip's a secretive little specimen, but knowing his past, it's no surprise. I must take advantage of this and trap him with it. Right, okay. So we now know that he's honest. Uh, why did you accept the offer, Zip? So a dead body, huh? But what kind exactly? Why didn't you come here as soon as Wesler blackmailed you? Well, because they didn't come for him. Why you, Zip? Ibn has many loyal henchmen for these kinds of jobs. That's a good question. But I think we continue with the the current sort of 
subject, which is the dead body. So, a dead body, huh? What kind exactly? Because this is leading us to results at the moment. Know? What am I, a butcher? A zoologist? You still know something about it. It was wrapped up entirely, okay? I didn't see any of it. It was, uh, I don't know, average, like you and me. Scaly, hairy, furry, feathery, or bald? What kind exactly? <laughs> hey, I don't know, all right? I told you it was wrapped up. Right, so maybe we shouldn't have asked that question. Oh, no, we got a plus 15. Uh, you know your accessory to murder, right? If they let you out, what do you expect will happen? Uh, I don't think that's going to hold any weight because we're not on duty and we already said we wouldn't turn him in. So I'm going to go for this one and hope for if the best. If they let you out, what do you think will happen? I don't know, okay? Well, maybe it was a stupid idea coming here, but this was my best stupid idea. Maybe I'll win a few days with it. Or a few hours, more likely. If you help us, maybe we can cover this whole mess up. You mean you can be bored, Sonny? <laughs> what a time to be alive. The unbribable Santino Featherland. <coughs> Not with money. Suspended, Zip. And I'm talking chicken to raccoon. Oh, chicken to raccoon. You're a foul foul. <laughs> Why did you keep the wristband? How long do you think you'll be here under protection? You wanted to blackmail Ibn, didn't you? Let's ask about the wristband, because he's being honest. Why did you keep that wristband? Because it seemed important. And because... You know me. I'm trying to tie in every situation to my advantage. That's the way Zip works. How, exactly? Who knows? It seemed important. It just fell out of the body bag, and I thought, right. hey, look, this shit seems important, so uh, why not? So it's off the body that he had to get rid of. That's why they want to kill you. I have no friggin' way of knowing that. What did you ask them, huh? But why did it have a tag on it with a, some sort of code? What happened to the body, Zip? What happened to the body, Maybe we can Zip? find it. I don't know, Sonny. All I had to do was drop it in an abandoned part of the hive. Ooh, are we going to go to the hive? Starvation's most prevalent, I guess. Where insects fight for their survival, right? I couldn't have found a better way to get rid of a corpse myself. All that fresh meat must have been gone in a matter of minutes. Fuck Damn it. No, no, I didn't stick around to see what happened. Uh, you make me sick, Sam. You would have done exactly the same thing in my situation. Anyone would have. I got the order. I did what I had to. I wanted to survive. Yeah, that's mm. even <laughs> blackmail. Yeah, kind of feel sorry for Zip. Like that. Zip may be secretive, but if he manages to open up, he's also honest. He's not trying to change the subject anymore, so I only have one thing left to do. Ask the right questions. Yeah, I'm thinking we just sort of stick with the subject at hand. Who was the stiff zippy? He doesn't know that. What exactly did Ibn's men want with you? Did you squeal to anyone? Possibly. So he wanted to blame it all on the insects. Why would he do that? Yeah, let's go for that. Because I think so he he's opening up. So let's insects. just focus Why on the main topic. They're easy prey. Yeah, I get it. Insanely simple, Sonny. Ibn Wessler's not the only one who takes advantage of the tensions, you know. It's the easiest method of sweeping things under the rug. I've heard that Wessler's trying to break into the substitute meat industry. Surprised? What do you think will happen if Wessler saves Roachtown from starvation with a new, cheap and accessible faux meat product, eh? Boom! He's True. Be a hero. He will be. Maybe he'll get voted into the Council of Twelve. Ooh. Perhaps that's his plan. Right, I'm asking you for the last time. What's the wristband? I'm asking you for the last time. What's with the wristband? Maybe he does know more about it. I honestly, have no idea, Sonny. It simply fell out yeah, of maybe not. when I threw it down in the alley. At first, I wanted to leave it there, but then, uh, well, you know me, huh? And that's the whole story? 
That's the whole story. At first, I thought it was some kind of, uh, code. But on a wristband? It's usually an ID number instead. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like on prisoners. Exactly. Ooh. But I know from experience that prisoners don't get bands like this. Not in Clawville. It looks more like something from a hospital. Ooh, like Lyle said. A hospital wristband. Yeah, maybe you're right, Zip. While we're at it, was it Dr. Bubo who gave you the tip-off to get out of the hop dog? Yeah, it was. Why? Aha! Zip. You've helped us put some vital pieces into place. Well, that's great. That didn't help me, Sonny. I don't want to rot in here or end up in the alley of the hive. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. You gotta help me. Be glad I'm not. We'll try, sure buddy. Was an accomplice to murder here and now. Just keep your head down. Understand? I will, boss bird. I will. That's more like it. Well, we've got some answers at least. And we got 100% again, nice. The wristband comes from the corpse Zip had to hide in the hive on Wester's orders. So Lyle was sort of halfway there with it being a hospital wristband. But why would Wessler want to get rid of a body from a hospital? Unless there was evidence on the body which linked him to the killing of that person? Perhaps? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. You're telling me you have no idea what this is. It's a wristband. I see the same thing as you. This was the only thing left of the dead body. And me. You know me. They don't call me sticky fingers for nothing. So you just took it. Maybe for some blackmailing? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe it just hurt my sense of justice. I wanted to know who I buried. You're a real bastard, Zip. A real first-grade <laughs> bastard. Should I say thanks? Thanks. Probably not. Low, Zip. Real low. Thanks for the advice, Sonny. So, where to next? Where did that wristband come from? I got bad news, Marty. I only know one person who knows about medical stuff. Bubo. Oh, no, we were just there. Sorry, partner. <laughs> Bubo again. Back we go to Bubos. Alright then guys, well, some revelations in this one. We're going to go back to Bubos and see what he can tell us. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy and Paul from the Phantom Fellows for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.